Welcome to Bad Gear, the show about the world's most hated audio tools. Today we are going to talk about the Alesis SR16 drum machine. It went into production in 1990 and as the coelocant of music technology, you can still buy them new with very few modifications to the original concept. According to Alesis, the SR16 is the all-time best-selling drum machine, a success story quite similar to the one of the Alesis 3630 compressor. It is not one of the cool drum machines like the TR-808 or the RMI. El Zita. It really lives up to the promise of producing somewhat realistic drum sounds. If you are an 80s hairspray hard rocker or a 90s R&B one hit wonder. It can be assumed that all those drum machines have no soul bumper stickers are related to the rise of the SR16. But let's be honest, don't accuse someone of having no soul when you're willing to buy this apron. At the first glance the SR16 doesn't look like a lot of fun. 80s car dashboard design, only one supersized knob for the master volume and strange music technology artifacts like a tape in out. It features four outputs. Cool. The sequencer was obviously designed with real musicians and songwriters in mind. An instant turn off for knob twiddlers like me. It is built like a tank and you really have to get physical with the pads to get proper velocity values. A brand new SR16 goes for 150 bucks. I bought the used one for 65 euros. So, it is no wonder that most people don't get aroused instantly by the mere sight of an Alesis SR16. You have already heard the drum machine in our little intro tune. The distinctive 80s flavor makes a lot of sense here. Speaking of the 80s, I've seen a lot of synthwave stuff on YouTube recently. I wanna know if it holds up in that genre. You might be wondering why I didn't use the internal sequencer of the SR16. It does of course work, but it took me an entire evening of repeatedly falling asleep over pre-internet tutorials just to find out that I can't get any proper music out of it. I'm either too young or too old for this sh As I completely abstained from techno in the last episode, I am looking forward to a little boom boom in its purest form. A drum machine, a mixer and some delay. The more initiated music tech nerds among you might know that the SR16 appeared on various metal records, something a true metalhead would never openly talk about. I don't think that there are a lot of them watching YouTube shows about not guitars, but just in case, I'm giving them a reason to really hate me. I not only faked the drums on the next one, but all instruments, using the SR16 and the following samples. Verdict. The Alesis SR16 is like the stone-deaf, half-retired life sound engineer you end up booking for every show of your band. Some might be more innovative and some are more fun to party with, but this one gets the job done, every single time. The sounds are dated and the sequencer not exactly sparks my creativity, but I was surprised how well it worked in almost every situation. As the closet metalhead that I am, I just found the new drummer for my upcoming Gore Grind Deathcore album. Thanks for watching, see you next time. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to like and subscribe and don't forget to tell me in the comment section what other kind of bad gear you would like to see and hear on the show.